Hello and welcome to the continuation of the Microsoft Word tutorial and quickly today we'll be looking at the insert menu uh, so maybe you want to go to the insert menu this is how you just quickly navigate to that and quickly we'll start with the cover page so what is a cover page the cover page is the first page of a document as simple as that so you can just click here and uh, you will see quick uh, default uh, cover pages that are available on this particular computer so you can scroll across them and see beautiful designs and what have you so quickly we we'll just run through and just pick one for an example so quickly i want to just make do with this one that says anwa so this is then how the uh, cover page of this document is going to look like so you can just quickly edit this to the year you can pick the date and just retype and type the title of the document as you've seen in this case so these are other supporting details on this uh, uh on this uh, title page so you can type the abstract of the work here and type the document subtitle also so this is how you can be able to uh, insert a cover page so quickly i will just be removing it to proceed with the tutorial so i'll say remove what the current cover page so quickly i will be showing you how you can be able to insert tables uh, so we have uh, two basic ways actually to insert tables now we can make do with the grid line here because this is a table now this is either to insert or draw a table into a document so i'll click on this small drop down menu now to insert the table first you will need to know the columns and the row now the row is the uh the horizontal section and the columns are the uh, vertical sections so now depending on the number of columns and rows you intend to work with uh you will just drag across so this is showing you that it's a one by one table because it's just the first column. So this is a two by one column and this is a two by two because you have two rows and you have two columns extended like this. So this is five columns toward two rows. So but the issue is that this is the highest you can be able to do with the use of the grid lines. It can only give you a 10 by 8 table. Now, once you click on it, the table is already there. So, but going back, sometimes you may have a table that uh, surpasses so this content, which is above 10 by 8. So, how do you do that? So, quickly, I will just be, uh, I will just, uh, okay, let's just quickly just delete this table. We don't want to make do with it. So we have taken out the table now. So now how do you just insert table? So quickly you just come to this menu here that says insert table. Now the moment you click on it, a dialog box appear. It is going to ask you the number of columns you want. Now you notice in the grid lines method, you can just only insert but eight columns. But notice here as I'm going to increase it, it's going to go beyond 10. It's going to be so much as you require the computer to do and also the number of rows can be increased to the number you want so quickly this is how you can be able to insert that so let's leave it as the number of columns to be worth 12 and the number of rows to be 15 so when you are done with your choice you just hit on the ok button and the moment you do that you will have that kind of table now but did you notice that it's a design tool that appear for table tools now this is telling you that you can modify this table uh, based on your choice so quickly if you move across this you will notice that there is a slight change on the table now these are default modes like scientific tables that don't need many lines on it and you can click on this drop down menu to see a lot of templates that are available for you to use so quickly let me just click on this and you see this is how you can further design the table you've created all right so away from the tables go back to the insert menu so quickly i will be showing you how also you can be able to what to insert a picture now you will need to have this picture either on your desktop but make sure it's saved on your computer 
all you need to do once you click on the picture it will show you a location where you are going to pick the file you want to put as a picture so quickly i'm going to click here now I'll navigate to my desktop and maybe say metacama certificate per se and click on insert now once i click on it it's going to show me what is inside that particular folder so i would like to use this basic certificate i will just hit on the insert menu and within a short while this certificate will appear so uh also this is how you can be able to insert a picture that is on your computer but mind you when this appears also it will show you the formatting tool now the formatting tool enables you to work on the picture you've just inserted so working across this you will notice that there is a change that is taking place did you notice that as i move across different the formatting tools available all right so you can notice the change so you can decide to make do with any of this is still your choice so maybe i like this i'll just click on it and there it is so this is how you can be able to insert a cover page a table and also a picture so thank you for listening in our next tutorial i'll be showing you how you can insert the clip art the shape and the smart art thank you for listening like and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next video thank you